In this video, I'm going to show you some basic views for the hip. Remember, you're going to have a lot of contact that can be achieved with alcohol, water, or lubrication. Right here, you're going to see the wing of the ilium. This is the wing of the ilium. Ilium, ilium, ilium. As you go back, right here, you're going to see the sacroiliac joint. Right here. Let me go back. Ilium, you go back, you go back. And right there, you're going to see the, the sacroiliac joint. If you're going to inject the sacroiliac joint, you can put your needle right here. And that's for the cranial approach of the sacroiliac joint. It's going to be right, right here, okay? Don't go too, too axially with your needle. All right, so that's, that's the, the one view. The next view that you're going to do is you're going to, we're going to swipe through the ilium. And we're going to go looking for any fractures right here through the ilium. And we're going to do it again. You might have to get it wet again. And this is all part of the process. Some horses require a lot, a lot of contact. So right here is the, we got, we got this view of the ilium. We're going to go right here. Perfect. That's a sacroiliac joint. Now we're going to go further. The ilium. This is the ilium. You're looking here for any stress fracture. Right here, you're looking for remodeling, stress fracture, etc. This is right here. You're going to hit the tuber cocci, right? Right here. So now you're going to follow this line. And this is what it looks like. You're going to follow this line. And now here you see, I need to increase depth. So by increasing depth, I can see the bone. I go further back, further back. And now look at the, what I'm doing. Did you see what I did with the probe? Boom. And right there, you're going to see the coxofemoral joint. Right here is the coxofemoral joint. This is the acetabulum. This is going to be the femur. This is going to be the greater trochanter. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go again. I'm going to go back, go back, go back on the, go back. You see that bone? Yeah, we're going to go back. Then I'm going to turn the probe. And right here, I'm going to do a little bit of adjustment right there. This is the coxofemoral joint. Fluid in this joint, it is actually a sign of disease. All right. Excellent. This is the greater trochanter, coxofemoral joint, acetabulum. This is the femur. If you're going to inject, this right here is the area of injection. This is the gluteus profundus. I don't want to get too much into a detail. This is a very basic ultrasound. So now, as we go down over here, we're going to go down the femur. We're going to hit this bone right here. That's the greater trochanter, excuse me, the third trochanter, I apologize. That is the third trochanter right there. Sometimes this could be fractured. Remember my dot is cranially, okay? Dot is cranially. So the greater, the lesser, the third trochanter, excuse me, the third trochanter could be, could be fractured. So you want to make sure that you look at the third trochanter. Pay attention to the depth, okay? Because you want to make sure you're deep enough to see that right here is a good view good view of the third trochanter all right that is some basic view of the hip we discussed today the ilium the caudal sacroiliac joint right here we kept sweeping on the ilium looking for stress fracture and then we continue on the pelvis and then we go to the coxofemoral joint right here. Look at the look at the acetabulum, look at the fluid, look at the femur. And then with the dot cranially, you continue going down until you find the third trochanter. Now I'm gonna give you a, a bonus. A bonus right here. That is the greater trochanter. Right here is the greater trochanter, and right here is the trochanteric bursa. 
sometimes you're going to see some fluid over here. And look, from the greater trochanter to the from the greater trochanter to the coxofemoral joint, it's actually very easy to get. All you need to do is you play a little bit. But right here, greater trochanter, the attachment of the gluteus, all right? The gluteus medius attaches right there in the greater trochanter. Okay? Now, basic. In our next course, we are going to go really deep into details on all the anatomical structures. But right now, all I want you to do is to pay attention to the big details. Thank you very much.